And lastly, we have Dennis Smith Jr. to the Utah Jazz. Now, this is another interesting one. You've got another guard here. Dennis Smith Jr. has parlayed his athleticism into exhaustive defense at the point of attack. Relative to what he was doing, what he was going to cost, in fact, he's the player on the list who continue, whose continued availability is surprising. I completely agree. You know, a player like Dennis Smith, who, you know, the athlete that he is, the effort he provides... I'm interested, I'm, I'm surprised he's still a free agent. I guess, like everyone in the free agency list, he's got his limitations. If you were the perfect player, believe me, a team would have signed you. But super interesting, you know, the, U the Utah Jazz already have plenty of guards on their roster. But that shouldn't matter. Nobody defends like um, Dennis Smith Jr. Nobody that the Utah Jazz have at the moment is really defending like um, Dennis Smith Jr., Chris Dunn was a, is a very good defender. Uh, he's he's a he's an ex acceptable defender, I'll say. And he got sent to the Clippers, which does you know sort of open up that spot for Dennis Smith Jr. But he can't guard up the same way. But he's someone who can be thrown on the opposition's best backcourt player while also providing rim pressure at the other end because he's. He's an athlete. He's game. He's he's aggressive on the ball. Aggressive off aggressive off the ball. Not always aggressive on the ball. To be fair, um, I don't think he's the guard who you can really. And to be honest, Utah Jazz won't be looking to give him the keys. But we know that. He he can play though. You know, keep him. He's the sort of player I'd want to have in my squad if I was the Utah Jazz. You know, I wouldn't be asking him to do typical floor general stuff. And I wouldn't be asking him to consistently knock down threes. You need to know what you're getting with him. And I think at this point in his career, you do sort of know he's a 27-year-old free agent guard. I think you do know what you're getting with him. He's not an incredible floor general. He's not a sniper. I think he can do those things at an acceptable level to the point where he's not unplayable. But there, there are levels to this. Utah has Keontae George to develop as well as Colin Sexton. And Jordan Clarkson to fill their offensive quota, so that can let that take the you know the guard offensive burden off Dennis Smith Jr. and let Dennis Smith you know really defend and won't worry about that. If the Jazz are serious about not being totally invested in winning next season and wanting to continue to build, you know at least one of the two latter players in Sexton and Jordan Clarkson. Will probably finish the year on a new team, therefore, even more so opening opening up an opportunity to the soon to be twenty seven year old Dennis Smith Jr. So yeah, I'd be super curious to know what you guys think of Dennis Smith Jr. Do you think he's a good fit for the Jazz, or where else do you think he could go? I think he's an interesting player and could definitely land or wind up at you know potentially a few different teams. But yeah, I'd be super interested to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below.